hello Pugdudes and Pugdudettes, we are here for the final battle, the final trial against the Emperor Bobble, the final piece he has swallowed, and we must retrieve it. Last time, we left the battle. He had quarter health, but I am sure he's going to be back at a full percentage. We must try and defeat him. If we don't, then I have failed. And you'll be stuck with me for another episode of this. But if we do, then that's better. Oh. The water is going to kill them. Oh, the water's gonna come. Good stuff. Oh my lord! I am just the worst. I'm just terrible. I've just witnessed at least two of them. Four of them died of water. I'll do. Ow. Back to full health. I could reuse bombs again, but I'm not gonna. It's more safe. Oh, he ate one. We've lost seven reds today. You have drowned. I think one way in. A few steps on. <laughs> this is my battle strategy. Do you like it? It's not entertaining. But Pitman's a calm, relaxing game. It's always been a calm game. Except for parts like this. This is very stressful. Come on! Almost done. 
Oh no! Almost done though. Eight casualties a day, you managed to have eaten. Nice. Oh man, these guys got none of the action. Get fucked. Salvage them. They are for your brothers to return. All your brothers and sisters. At long last, they have found the final part. My secret safe. And it's full as ever. I'm glad. How oh, glad I am that I've persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave the planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for the, my wife and kids. Back on planet Hockatoot. Really need 40. Done. done it. We've done it. Bring out the commanders. Guys, we've done it. Thanks to your troops, we've done it. On its way now. Um, you guys have served me so well, and we bring gifts for more reds because uh, they've been doing all the fighting. What have you guys been doing? Well, you've been really helpful. But um, since a lot of them were lost, we'll bring some back. But of course, here comes the final ideology. The last one. And we're done. for no reason just to do that <laughs> odd pep talk that I didn't exactly need to do. That's it. I have finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hokkaido. That's it. End of day. All the Pikmin line up, doing their- oh, the last two at the beginning is kind of like, fucked up there. Oh, yeah, the yellow one fucked up again, there you go. They're all saying goodbye. Oh, I'm sad to leave. But of course he has to go. Has to return home to his family. He must head back home. But of course, as a bold wolf jumped by, they're all thinking we can fight him. We can fight him. But he's running off. He doesn't want to deal with them. But of course, the pigmen have now become the predator. Wait a minute. Light blue? 
But there's a the blue one still. No, is that purple? No, it's still light blue. There's a black one, a couple of pink ones, green one, and an orange one. Where do they come from? They're not in the game. But of course, we fly off. Captain Olama on his way home from the Pikmin planets. And of course, with one last look back, he reminisces of all the new memories he's made as he flies back home. In search of his family. And I'm first, boys. That's my score. But at the end of the day, the game has been completed. We've 20 episodes gone through. But of course, the next series is what comes next. And we're talking the return of Luigi's Mansion, baby. Me and Raccoon, me and the Raccoon, the great man, are back for even more Luigi's Mansion as we play through again. So if you want to watch our first playthrough of Luigi's Mansion, there already is a playlist in the completed series alongside this new Pikmin one. But of course, if you want to watch the new series, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified when it happens. And of course, there's all the all the pieces we got. The main engine. The main engine. The ion the first ion jet. The interstellar radio. The position tron generator, the anti dioxin filter, the pilot seat, the internal fuel dynamo, the Amiga stabilizer, the second ion jet, the extraordinary bolt, the gravity jumper, the bow spirit, the whimsical radar, the analog computer, the Kronos reactor, the geyser counter, the guard satellite, the Nova blaster, the radiation canopy, Lebria. The space float, Sagittarius, the repair type bolt, the massage machine, the shock absorber, the gluten drive, the UV lamp, the automatic gear, the Zircon rotator, and the secret safe. All 30 pieces have been done. My game has been saved. And now we get the credits. Of all the people that have created Pikmin. The Wii edition of Pikmin. With the executive producer being Satori Iwata. Which I will thank for so many years of developing great games. Alongside his team, who also have done the Nintendo jo uh, it's a Nintendo job. Ah, ah, ha, ha! But of course, he passed away a while ago, and he has inspired me to follow as a games designer. So I will do my best and go from there. As you see, the darker side take over the earth. We see more and more of our memories playing Pikmin from the first day to the days we had yellows and defeating the Bob Warps, gaining even more items. Of course, this is all pre-rendered stuff and not my actual playthrough, otherwise, uh, that'd be pretty weird. The 
of course, we've already seen all this. We've already managed to complete the game with the best ending. 100% completion, basically. Everything we could have done. And that's it. Thank you, Nintendo. Making these games. Of course, we leave what looks to be a planet very reminiscent of Earth. To even more. Oh, now it's the um, uh, the armored cannon beetle. This immigrant lift pot. Okay, I can't read them. Oh Jesus, I hated that guy. This guy was an arsehole. Beady long legs. I uh, should have brought yellows actually, now I think about it. Oh yeah, it was annoying. A bread bug. This creature's a bit high protected from most attackers. Oh, they're annoying. Oh, why can't the game look like this? This is a nice looking. There were like four of them, Jesus, I wouldn't be able to handle that. The burrowing snaggers. That's horrible. Pop bug could be the next step in Pitman Evolution Life. The Pitman himself. Oh. A clamshell. Though so beautiful, it's must have pearls off. Fin. I, I think I ignored them. The Wolf Bull Bear. Bull Bear is an early stage of the development of its life circle. The specimen appears to be nearly fully developed. And of course, that's the uh, black variation, and push up the red variations right there. And that's the double probe, although similar to the appearance of the other bulb. Two balls belong to a totally different species. But they're the same species, just different colors. Then for bulb acts, this massively cropped or buried itself when hunting. The fairy bulb. This creature expels a combustive phosphor that it can knock okay. Um, I'm just gonna let the game do it, you know? I can't read all these, they go pretty fast! The swooping snitch bug. Or as I like to call them, the fuck turd. Hold up. I don't remember fighting one of those. I remember fighting one of those. Is that even in the game? I remember those. Creature to collect nectars for its larvae waiting in its nest. <laughs> I think I actually like one of those. Pellet posy. Yeah. Oh, this guy was annoying. The puff stool. Many consider this walking fungus a delicacy. Okay. Oh, this guy was annoying. The puffy glow pop. Instead of breathing fire, this species uses hydrogen to float. Shiagra. Males of the species are purple and have armor defense. While the females are high. Shiawig. Males of this species are able to fly if the females remain underground. Okay, there's two different species then. Oh my lord, what is that? Smoky frog. Thought to be a um, malformed love. I didn't even notice they... Do they... Do they exist? I didn't even see that. It's what you got there. This rare species of ball bear has a certain... Okay. And this is an actual ball bear. Ball bear and ball ball. 
supposed to be on. These make them cool. Oh, these are annoying as well. The Water Dumple. This aquatic creature is a close relative to the bubble. Okay. Oh, the Hercules. Um, the Wapole. This creature appears to be a new one yellow woolly book. In Tapple. Yeah, Tapple. Yeah, it's the uh, computer. Oh no, the Wally Wop. This creature's coloration results from remaining sheltered in cavernous dwellings. The Yellow Wally Wop. After evolution led to the development of specialised jumping ability, this amphibian actually lost all its ability to swim. And we got the happy end. How how nice. How nice. And of course, Olimar is back with his family. And we now have the happy ending. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next series. Or any other series I'm still doing. See you next time. Goodbye.